Alright, so back for part two, and we're looking at more of his accessories, and we're going to talk about his transformation, or we're going to go over his transformation into the what I call the hyper mode, and we're going to finish it off. Basically, um, here's the rest of his accessories. It's like, you know, it's like a whole other figure now. Um, right here are these parts. Right here are basically more armor parts. These are his um, where he stores his other knives, which I totally forgot to get. Where are they? Ah. These knives, um, progressive knives sort of thing, they're called the molecular something. Mono molecular cutter, which is basically a sonic knife or progressive knife kind of thing. Uh, you know, it's all the same. Um, of course his head right here with the little, with the opening for his flames to go on and you just peg it in there. And Call it good. You can rotate it any any way you want. Um, right here are is his um, what is this? Demolition gun. Demolition gun. Um, really nice thing about this this part right here is you can kind of see one of the shells, and you can just peg it onto the side just like that. Uh, it it doubles up as where it's supposed to go and also storage, so it's really nice. And you can actually remove this part, the barrel, and you can attach this and form the, or actually this way, if it lets me. There you go. Make sure that part is on the outside. And it turns into gun howitzer mode. Yeah, gun howitzer mode. This is a very nice weapon. It's it's even bigger than the guy, the, the labor team itself, so that's... This is my favorite part of this guy. Um, anyway, uh, also one of his armors has more robotic arms, and that's all for storing these. So you can take this right here, and you can actually hold on to the the weapon like that. And you can take this robot arm and peg it into the back of this one. And he stores everything behind him, like once you get it all in hyper mode. So let's leave, let's leave this for now and let's get to transforming him. Um, you want to start off by removing the head. Um, be careful though, be careful. If you guys saw my last Revolt Tech review, you guys know that one of the things broke off. I'm scared that the same thing will happen on this one. So I'm going to be very careful and take my sweet ass time with transforming him. Take the head back in and there you should be good there. You want to remove these side armors bird thingies and you want to add on these they can only go on one way so there's like pretty much no way of getting it wrong maybe there is one way of getting it wrong alright well we'll figure that out later Um, there are instructions. Oh man, sorry for the sloppiness, guys. It's just totally confusing. Um, but yeah, where am I? If it pegs in there, if it let me peg it in. Why won't you let me? You have to let me. Okay. There we go, there we go. Alright, then you take these and then you plug them in. Alright, and then you're good there. Do the same here. Move the spur. Um, where'd it go? Okay, so those two holes right there in the back, these little protrusions will have to fit in there. So that's where I got confused. There you go, and then, yeah, it all just comes together like this. So we can hold the, kind of just hold the cannon in the back, store everything like this. Looks very sloppy when I did, when I, yeah. Looks very sloppy right now, but that's how it should be. Something or the other, you know. Oh yeah, put that in there. Come on.
Alright, so that, that part's good. Um, just gonna remove these now, since you guys already know what it looks like. Now, the knee part gets a little hard, I guess, because the Revoltech joint likes to pop off with the little armor piece, but you're not supposed to pop off the little Revoltech joint either. You're supposed to just keep the armor piece. I'm gonna have to resort to one little thing real quick. Yeah, basically, the peg should stay in the kneecap, and you only remove the white part, and then you replace it with the the holsters for these. So you can kind of see what it looks like, right? Well, okay, something like that. So then you peg it back in here. Then you peg it back into the knee, and there you go. The same thing here. So I have to do this. this is, my hands are getting a little sweaty. It's summertime. It's so hot. And it won't come off. <clears throat> ah. Look like I just removed a tooth. Anyway. Alright, I, I, I gotta apologize it's again for the sloppiness, guys, but, yeah, it gets hot, and it, it, I sweat up, and it gets really hard for me. Alright, so, there you go, he's in his, whatever you want to call it, mode, his berserk mode, hyper mode, whatever you want to call it, here he is, quick look up, quick look down, in all his glory, and his stuff is a mess. So, it's a good idea to actually keep the box, um, if you have this figure, because you have a whole bunch of all this, like, you have all of this laying around, you have a stand, which it comes with, I mean, you can always display them on the stand, and that's nice, um, but, okay, there you go. This is, damn you, okay, forget you, fine, okay. There, um, very sloppy second part, and I'm very sorry, but uh, for the most part, here's this figure, very nice looking, very awesome, he can stand, very wonderful, even with all the extra weight in his backpack, there you go, uh, it's, be it's best to, of course, pose him on the stand so you can get better poses out of him, but, um, uh, I mean, what can I say, he looks, he just looks awesome, look at her from behind, um, very detailed, they've already panelined a few things, so you don't have to panelline it yourself. Looks very awesome. Side view. But yeah, um, I can recommend you find this figure if you are into Revolt Text. If you don't have this figure, um, go find him. I mean, I got him at, at a convention, uh, WonderCon, last March for like 20 bucks. And I told you guys that, um, earlier. So, I mean, if you guys can't find them for 20 bucks, you could, your best shot is probably just having to pay for whatever it costs, because I don't, I don't see this figure too much anywhere else. Um, maybe it's just me not looking around, but, or maybe he really is a limited figure. But, I mean, for, for what it's worth, I think, I think it's worth every penny you're going to spend on him, because, I mean, you're getting a crap load of accessories, and you're getting this awesome looking figure with a stand and just the name Revoltech so um, yeah yeah I, I, I would definitely recommend you go find this guy if you don't have him um, but if you're if you're totally not into Revoltechs I wouldn't recommend you go out of your way to try to find him and if, if he's for like 30 bucks I wouldn't I wouldn't get it and then you have to get, you have to pay for shipping and all that stuff but you know if you can find him at a store or whatever for 30 bucks or or heck even 20 where I how I got it um, then, you know, I, I go get it, or if you can go to, like, a convention, like Comic-Con, WonderCon, Phantom-Con, any, any kind of convention, Anime Expo, whatever, and you find this guy for, and, you, and if you find this guy in general, then I recommend you not even think about it, go buy him, but, um, yeah, anyway, it, it's, once again, it's an awesome figure, so, go pick him up if you have the chance, if you see him, you know, don't think about it, get it, uh, I'm sorry if the second part was very sloppy, but, um, yeah, in the end, it, it all turned out really nice. 
But anyway, uh, this is the R A R X eight Levitain from Full Metal Panic. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.